There's no sign yet of a deal in Congress to prevent a possible government shutdown. Current funding runs out April 28th, which is about four weeks away. And Congress will be in recess for two of those weeks, so time is running short. Only on CBS This Morning, we asked House Speaker Paul Ryan how he's working to avoid another legislative setback. The government will shut down on April 29th unless you pass a funding bill. Will it defund Planned Parenthood? Well, that's in our Obamacare legislation. So we think the, sm the smart way to go is to through reconciliation um, because that only requires 50 votes. It takes 60 votes to defund Planned Parenthood in the Senate. If you go through appropriations, I don't think there are 60 votes. So for you don't that. want the plan defunding a plan Parenthood? And we want that to be in our reconciliation. Not bill. in the funding bill. It, yeah, it's reconciliation is where we have the best chance of getting it done. I Let me just say this. On, on, we're, we're talking about shutting down the government. No, no, and, and you hear people in the Freedom Caucus, and they're saying, we want the defunding of Planned Parenthood in this funding bill. We'll uh, shut down the it, government. It, it's in our Obamacare replacement bill, and that bill can't be filibustered. That's the smart place to put it, and that's where we have a chance of doing it. Let me just say this, Nora. We're not going to have a government shutdown. Uh, the president doesn't want to have a government shutdown. It's funding the government from April 28th to September 30th. So that funding bill doesn't need to include new money for the wall, the border wall? Uh, well, of course, the DHS needs money for border security. So that constantly. will be in there? There's always money for, for border security. Well, I know, and what I meant was additional money for the wall. The big chunk of money for the wall really is next year's, next fiscal year's appropriations, because they literally can't start construction even this quickly. Who's driving the agenda on tax reform? Is it the White House or Republicans? Well, I think House? it's a collaborative effort. It's, it's the House Ways and Means Committee. It's the Senate Finance Committee, which are the primary drivers in Congress, and the White House. The it's president's a, spokesperson just said it's the White House that's driving it. Well, I, that's fine with me. I don't, I don't really care who, who, who's driving it as, as fine as we get to an agreement and get it done. But the Trump so it's really a three-way conversation. But the Trump tax plan and the Ryan tax plan is different. Well, it's not a Ryan tax plan. It's the House blueprint that every House Republican ran on. Um, but we always knew. You're an architect. Knew, uh, actually, well, I helped Kevin Brady, really, our chairman of the Ways and Means. But I worked on this when I was chair. We always knew this was the beginning of the process. You never go into the legislative process as, here's my plan, take it or leave it. How's your relationship with President Trump? Very good. We talk uh, frequently, actually. Uh, actually, we, we've... Uh, you know, we didn't know each other very well, or if at all, before the election, but we've established a very good relationship. Every day? Yeah, just about. How long we talked do you to talk about? Talked about a half hour ago. And what do you talk about? Just the policies of the day. Uh, we're talking about health care these days, talk about tax reform, um, a lot of things. Did you guys talk at all about that tweet he sent out to watch a show on Fox where the anchors Yeah, called he did. Free? He called me and he said, look, I, I, he actually was very apologetic about it in that he said, I had no idea that that's what she was going to talk about. I thought she was going to talk about something else. Uh, so really, that that was completely coincidental. And I know, and I believe he he was right when he says that. He thought she was going to talk about something with respect to Russia that he thought was interesting and favorable. Uh, he had no idea she was going to do that. But hey, this job you take a lot of <laughs> you take a lot. Of, I knew this was going to be the last job I took in politics because, um, and I'm happy with. I'm I'm totally comfortable with that because it's an opportunity to make a big difference, get things done. And this is one of those jobs where you take a bunch of slings and arrows, and you just know that when you take this job, you take it with a grain of salt. It really doesn't get to me anymore. I thought about you last week, and I thought how you might have ended the week when you went home to Wisconsin. You know what happened? I ended the week. <laughs> My wife texted me as I was going to the flying home to O'Hare. I go to O'Hare and then drive to Wisconsin from there. She said, you picked the wrong Lent to give up drinking beer. You need a beer. <laughs> See, I, then, that's what I thought about you. I've known you long enough yeah, that you I know me a long he's time. having an extra beer. Tonight. Yeah, no, I had none because I gave it up for Lent. And then what do I do? I get home for halftime of the Badger game, and we lose to Florida in overtime with a last-second three-point shot. It was, you know, it was a tough day. It was a really tough day. You can see he has uh, a his good humor, attitude about humor it. humor is still very much intact. Yeah. yeah, he wants to get stuff done. And um, it's interesting to hear about his relationship with President Trump. Mm -hmm. They're talking on the phone a lot. They want to get this done. And you remember that when they first talked about making him Speaker of the House, he was somewhat resistant. He didn't want it. Yes, yes, he was. That's exactly yes. right. He Charlie. talked about his family life. Do you believe him as someone who's known him a long time when he says he's okay with the slings and arrows? He knows it comes with the territory. I do. I, yeah. do too. I think yeah, you have to have a tough skin yeah. in politics. Yeah. And I think he knows, too, having served in Congress for a while, not only as a congressman, but a staffer before that, that legislating takes time. Mm -hmm. You know, it takes a time. And so, but they've got a tight timeline. They want to get a lot done by August. Obamacare which is back on the table, and tax reform. All right. Based on what the president watching. says also, there's reason to believe that there is much more communication. Yeah, yeah. he said don't let uh, perfect be the enemy of good. Yeah. They want to get stuff done. I like that.